Hey YouTube, I'm out here very early morning. It is very cold out here, bone chillingly cold, but at least it's not snowing, that's an improvement. I have a couple marbles, uh, tools, a machete, and what they call their fireman's ax. All right, and I'm gonna be, uh, I'll review that machete in a separate video, so stay tuned for that, but I have it here for some comparison. All right, but what I have here they call this the fireman's axe. Now this is a very odd little tool. You know, if you're thinking of this as an axe, I gotta say, this would be a pretty sorry axe. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know, just look at it. That would be a pretty sorry axe. But what you need to realize, or what I realized, is that this is more of a machete, first of all. It's sharp on the inside. All right, let's, uh, the inside edge there. Let's turn it around. I would actually think of this more as a mini bill hook machete. Now, if you don't know what a bill hook machete is, it's a machete with a curve like that. Sometimes it's called a kuma machete. Now, the measurement of that inner edge, right, from, you know, from there to there is five and one half inches. All right, the measurement of the axe part, uh, that's around three inches. All right, so it's basically a mini axe. You see the construction here. The tan goes down to there. Wood handle scales, brass rivets. All right, lanyard hole that is tubed. And there is some sort of clear coat that's very smooth on the handle scales. And then you have this, in, this edge here, right, that's sharpened as well. All right, and also this is sharpened up here too. Now, if you're not sure why a machete would be shaped like this, well, come with me and I will show you. Leading you, ah uh, yes. Okay, so this is a very old dead branch, right, that I'm going to drag back to my tripod and I'll show you what a kuma does. Okay, we are back with one of the branches. Uh, now I did, uh, I did cut this free, see that part? I did cut this free with the axe part. Or I couldn't film it because I, I had to reach way up high and I couldn't uh, you know, hold the camera while I did it, but we're gonna chop with this now here. Now, uh, a kuma type machete has a lot of uses for that blade shape. All right, let me hug the tripod here. One of the uses is getting these uh, you know, smaller twigs off, like so. See that there, it's very, very useful for that. All right, so, you know, the kuma hook you scrape it down and you get all those smaller branches off. The other great benefit of the kuma is that it puts more edge in contact uh, when you're cutting something rounded like a branch. All right, a normal machete, right, just a little bit of the edge would be in contact, but when you cut with the curved part, it curves all the way around. You see that? And it would do so even more if this was bigger. All right, just for something bigger to demonstrate on, you see that this is a live tree. I'm not going to cut this down. I'm just showing you how that fits, right? It fits there, so it gets more edge. For each chop, you're getting more edge in contact. And while we're here, let's see what it does to that old dead branch. I'm trying to do this while hugging the camera. And let me step over this way. All right, the axe part. All right, and while we're here, we might as well look at a little bit of close-in chopping. First, I'll do it with the ax part. Oh, it bites in quite deep. 
Let me do it more sideways here. Nice. Nice. It's quite powerful for a small, small little hand tool. All right, let's see how this uh, back spike, I guess you'd call it. Let's see how this bites in. One more. All right, well, this thing, this thing is a lot more powerful than it might look from its size. Now, one thing I want to show you uh, some people didn't like this because it's you you can't baton with it because that's sharp that's sharp so there's no place to hit but they are wrong and there you go uh, you can baton with it you know you just have to hit it like that into something here you know basically imagine this was what what you want to baton all right let me get my baton here. And there you go. Hold on. Just to see what it does. <laughs> I like, I like. Missed it. Nice. All right, well, this thing is pretty damn badass. This is actually performing, it, it just feels a lot better than I expected. Now, this is actually thicker than a normal marbles machete. A regular marbles machete is one eighth of an inch thick, and it is, it is a bit flexible, as you see there. It's a bit flexible. Whereas this, it is, it is a lot thicker, well, not a lot, but it, it's noticeably thicker not sure exactly how thick, but if I if I try to flex it, I can barely flex it a little bit. So definitely thicker and heavier than their normal machetes. Okay, let's take a look at the sheath that this comes with. Here is the sheath. Now here is the, the belt loop there. It is heavy duty nylon construction. You see it's riveted there. See a pocket there. It comes with a sharpening stone, all right, included. As for deployment, it has these two button closures there, right, where the axe head is. And then there's a Velcro strap right there, all right, and... Okay, be careful because, you know, there's edges everywhere. All right, so that is uh, the sheath that it comes with. All right, final thoughts on the marbles fireman's axe. Well, this thing has really won me over. Um, a lot more powerful than it looks. I consider it a multi-tool. It's like a little mini hatchet, but it also has the kuma machete part. I think this thing is an incredible value. I mean, let, let me th let's think of it this way. Let's say that this only had the bill hook machete part. Let's say it was only a bill hook machete. It would have already been worth it for $17, but then you have the little mini hatchet part. You have that top edge that's sharpened that you could baton with. Other, You could think of different uses for that. And you have the cutout, which works on uh, fire hydrants and oxygen tanks. Plus it came with a really nice sheath, and it even came with a little field sharpening stone. And as a multi-tool, it's very useful. I would definitely highly recommend this for preppers, campers, survivalists, outdoorsmen, or just to have around for just emergencies or just uh, 
doing some maintenance in, in your backyard, cutting away dead branches and so forth. This would work great for that. All right, so highly recommended. A great, a great budget item. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.